Also, this lipstick's probably way too dark for the look, but whatever, here we are. Hi guys, welcome back. I thought it'd be a lot of fun today to do the I am cold makeup look. I know I'm a little late to the party, but you know, it's still winter here, so why not? I thought it looked like a lot of fun. I do enjoy using the sorts of colors involved this time of year, especially if you're still going out to events outside, you know, like a little bonfire with some hot chocolate, or you're going out to like a light show or something. There's still lots of fun events going on outside, so it's kind of fun to channel your inner like Snow Queen vibes, right? So. I already have a bit of a head start. We have the foundation done, the concealer. We've got the eyebrows taken care of because those aren't necessarily unique to this look. It's just do your favorite foundation, get your eyebrows done. And it's really all about the blush, your minimal eye look. And if you happen to have a little extra glitter, you know, a, a highlight that's maybe a little more pop than usual, put that on. And then you put on like some cute little hat and just enjoy the cozy vibes. So let's get started with the blush. I'm going to be using, I'm doing the two layered approach with blush. We've got the cream blush. So we'll start with the Laura Mercier. This is one of my absolute favorite blushes. This is pretty easy to apply if you start with a little bit, nice and easy to layer. Typically in the fall winter, I will transition to a more rose toned blush and a little less pinky, like a little, a little darker, a little more moody, maybe a little purpley even. But now we're going with a really bright, more vibrant pink look for this. And since this blush is in a tube, I do like to squeeze some out onto either the back of my hand or you know some other surface. In this case, I'm gonna use a little bit on the glass palette. Don't forget to add a little to the tip of the nose because we've just come in from the outside or we're still outside. You've got the, the pink along kind of going up over your nose, so um, you're gonna put it a little closer than normal to get the effect. All right, and now I'm gonna go over the top of this cream blush with a little bit of a more luminous light pink blush. I'm actually gonna use the one from the Hourglass Elephant palette. There were three separate face palettes launched this last Christmas season. So we'll be going in with the middle. A nice bright shade right here with just a little bit of shimmer to it. I know it seems a little extra, but that's the whole point of this look is like pretty blush heavy. All right, now I'm feeling sufficiently rosy. I think I'll go in with the highlighter next. I've busted out my Fenty highlighter, which is a little more shimmery than I would normally wear. That's like a real evening sort of highlighter, but I think we're gonna use it for this just to have a little bit of the frosty sort of feel. So this is Hollow At Me. So you can see it's kind of an opalescent sort of, uh, looks really cold, like frosted sort of highlight. At least it does in my mind. And it matches the nails. So we've got like a little bit of the sort of purple shimmery, <laughs> shimmery, uh, shimmery vibe going on. I've seen some people actually take like glitter or if they have something like snowflakes or something, they'll try to put those on. I don't have anything quite like that. So this is the best I can do, but I think it's pretty cute. All right, next I'm gonna just add a little bit of face powder. I'm using the Say Beauty, their translucent powder. I've really been liking this lately and I'm giving it a few more chances just to make sure. I think at this point, I was a little worried if I had put on too much blush, I'd be able to sort of powder and cover it up, but I don't know. I think this is the vibe. And there's more than I would normally wear, but hey, that's the whole point of these fun trends is you get to do something different. All right, now let's move on to the eye look. This is gonna seem a little extra. I have two separate palettes to find the two colors I wanted. I didn't really have any individual shadows. I also think it's really funny, the two I found that I wanted to use. I'm gonna be using the kind of white sort of snow-like shade from the Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Whenever I think of the Riviera, I think of like summer, like in the French Riviera. 
but they have this wonderful white color. It's called Sales. So we'll be using just that white color from this palette. I'm gonna put that down as my base. And then the next color I found that I wanted to use on the eyes comes from the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. <laughs> so again, kind of an odd palette to be using for my I'm cold <laughs> winter look, but I just couldn't help it. The mint color in here, mint frost in the bottom corner, was just too perfect. So I know you want something a little sort of frosty, cold. Again, kind of matches the nails. So I thought this would be the perfect shade. And I'm not gonna be using a ton of it. It's for this look, you just kind of go in with like a little bit, almost like eyeliner. And then you really wanna to try to brighten up the inner corner. So we'll just be putting a little bit of mint frost. Basically we're using it like eyeliner, but a little thick. So that's why I'm going in with one of my Sephora collection eyeliner brushes. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with a smudge brush just to try to fan it out a little bit because it is so pretty. I don't want it to get lost. I wanna make sure it's nice and visible. Oh, well, there we go. You can always count on the Natasha Denona shades to blend really nicely. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, can't wait to do the other side. All right, now I'm gonna smudge out this side a little bit. Oh man, I'm loving how the shade is going with the whole look. The mint frost. So if you've packed away your Tropic palette thinking you can't use it again until spring, summer, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> bust it out. It's perfect for this cold look. All right, now I think it's time to put on a little mascara. I am enjoying this Say Beauty mascara. I know I was nervous about the wand being kind of spiky, like those silicone spikes, but it does such a good job lengthening. I'm, I'm getting past my fear and <laughs> I'm using it because it just looks too good. I love what a good job this mascara does with lengthening and separating my lashes. They don't feel too overdone, which I think is perfect for this look. All right, next we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna be using my NARS lip pencil in the shade Rosebud. And then the Urban Decay lipstick. This is one of their Comfort Matte lipsticks in the shade 66. All right, and now I'm gonna be adding a little bit of lip gloss, because as much as I like this color, I do want to add a little bit of a shimmer just because of the vibe of this whole look. So I'm gonna be using the Trish McAvoy Shimmer Lip Gloss. All right, so let's finish this look off. I've got to put on the hat. I don't have earmuffs, but I at least have like a cozy little hat, some mittens, and we'll see if this really does conjure up the, I just came in from outside and I'm a little chilly vibe. Okay, here we are. What do we think? I'm really happy with this mint frost color. I think it worked out really well. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've tried out this I'm cold makeup trend. It's a lot of fun. It's just interesting to do something different this time of year. It's a little dreary. You've taken down all the lights. So this is kind of a fun way to, you know, have a little bit of your own shimmer, a little bit of your own inner light showing. If you like this makeup look, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you're new here, my name is Julia and I love doing makeup looks, sometimes goofy ones like this, sometimes more serious like date night ones. Valentine's Day is coming up, so be sure to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.